As we've all no doubt noticed by now, some major chickens are coming home to roost here in the 2020s and in a big way, especially here in the United Socialist States of America. And while it's easy to get lost in the sea of bad developments unfolding around us, it's important that we not lose sight of the fact that practically everything going to hell in our culture is a direct result of the Christian church escorting it there in one way or another. And this has happened because the Americanized church has found a way to avoid taking the gospel-fueled Great Commission seriously. Different local churches or denominations have done this in different ways or different combinations of ways. Many have traded away the everything-touching, every-nation-discipling majesty and power of the Great Commission in favor of a simple get-the-people-to-join-our-church-and-start-tithing gimmick sort of thing. Some have even openly mocked the Great Commission as impossible to accomplish here in the real world, and they've treated Christians who take Jesus' command seriously as part of the problem. And some have just decided not to talk or think about the gospel-fueled Great Commission at all, preferring instead to go where the world wants them to go and be what the world wants them to be. Which brings us to biblical patriarchy and two things that the Americanized church desperately wants to replace that patriarchy with. Complementarianism and or egalitarianism. Either replacement is fine from the Americanized perspective. The objective is to replace patriarchy. So if you want to start with just complementarianism, and that's fine. You'll ultimately end up in the same place anyway, which is in a position of increasingly soft fragility, weakness, and impotence as the world burns around you. But the burning won't just happen around you. Oh no, it'll happen within your church too, eventually, of course. But by the time you notice that part, it's almost too late. I say almost because late is better than never, and even a late start at taking biblical patriarchy seriously can be a powerful antidote to the anti-patriarchy Marxist vibe that's ravaging the culture. And why is this? Why are churches that refuse to center strongly on biblical patriarchy destined for such failures? And why are churches that embrace biblical patriarchy equipped, uniquely so, to stand and fight the good fight successfully? Why? Because patriarchy rejecting churches are castrated churches, often self-castrated churches. They're effeminate churches. And however popular that concept may be in this dying culture, hint, hint, it is utterly incompatible with the nature of King Jesus as revealed in his word. Castrated churches can't resist, much less reverse, the tide of wokeness sweeping over the culture. Castrated churches can't prevent their own children and young adults from becoming increasingly confused about what not long ago were generally regarded as the most basic and obvious sorts of truths, at least to those who once took biblical patriarchy seriously. Castrated churches will inherently exalt feminine attributes as more holy and regard masculine attributes as less holy. Even if they don't say it out loud, they'll do it in practice and they'll do it in ways and with frequency that will be hard to miss if you're looking at all. Once a church is castrated, this trend continues on autopilot, which is where we are now in many American churches, including many who not long ago stood firm on biblical patriarchy. Now, for those who want to know more about this vital subject and get a better handle on terms like complementarianism and egalitarianism from a biblical worldview perspective, I highly recommend the book Masculine Christianity, which I will link to in the description. And while I do not agree with everything in the book, I have to say that overall, it is an amazing, inspiring, and much needed work at such a time as this. I cannot recommend Masculine Christianity highly enough. It's exactly the sort of thing that we need now, which is why God has provided it to us now, of course. It's time for the church to stand up and fight like a man. It's time for the church to stop allowing perversions of patriarchy to be used as substitute definitions for patriarchy. It's time for the church to realize that God's patriarchal ordering of things is the best thing for every man, woman, child, culture, and civilization in his creation. However much the Marxists and their useful idiots may want you to believe it, biblical patriarchy is not the problem. Biblical patriarchy is the solution. It's the essential core component component of winning the culture war. And that's why they hate it so. If you appreciate this perspective, subscribe to the channel. If you want a deeper dive into subjects like this, sign up for the weekly newsletter at hellraiserreport.com.